Hi guys, what's your name? I'm Steven Foster. All right. Billy Forbes. I'm Brooke Marino, and this is my wife, Amy. Hi. Excellent. Travis Avity. All right, what's your name? Thanks, Kittle. Christine. Hello, Christine. How do you do? Oh, what's your name? Carol. Carol. Uh, Hi, my name's Olivia. Uh -huh. I am Emily. I'm uh -huh. I'm Travis. Brian. What, what, uh, what uh, organization or church are you from? Crosspoint. Just uh, Crosspoint Community. Oh, right, right. The, the, the street. Lutheran yeah. Church, right. Yeah. Yeah. We're here for school for Taylor High School across the street. And our, our Taylor High School um, NHS National Honor Society is, is doing a big group. Oh, a lot of Taylor kids here. Yes, we're, we're with Hosanna. It's on Clay Road. Epiphany Youth! Yeah. Hi, Epiphany Youth! Yeah. I know uh, Epiphany of the Lord. Yes. Uh, and the people was well represented here. We're from Epiphany. Gotcha. Oh, Epiphany's the church. Yeah. I see. Oh, marvelous name for a church. Any of y'all know what Epiphany means? Yeah. Uh, it's like a bright idea, a moment of uh, revelation. Yeah, moment of revelation. Exactly, right, right, right. Living I'd like to give a shout out to my beat dog, yo. <laughs> Bird, dog. Uh. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> Hi. Hey, wiener dog. Hey there. Hi. You're here with a cow. Hey, are you here with PETA or something? Um, we are here supporting them. <laughs> oh, no, no. Neat, you're from the Chick-fil-A, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, taking up your Saturday. Is this, are you getting paid for this? Um, we do get paid work hours, but it, we, if, even if we didn't, we would love to do it. So. Oh, super. Now, how about you? Uh, we, what's your name? Hey. <laughs> We're at the Walk for Life here at Kingsland Baptist Church on uh, was it February what? Twenty uh, eighth. Twenty eighth. Hey, what's the purpose of the Walk for Life? Well, it's to help uh, the pregnancy help center for people who are either pregnant and probably don't want to be, or people who just don't have the money to, to fund a child. Right. I see. It's it's, it's, a, it's a local institution here in the the Katy area. Yep. I got you. We're helping young ladies. We're raising money for pregnant teens. Okay. Well, they um, give information to women about their choices when um, they're about to have a baby and different kinds of lifestyles that they can lead. Quite sure. I know it uh, provides uh, the necessary materials, uh, aid that uh, would otherwise be quite expensive. Uh, you know, becoming pregnant is the cheapest thing in the world, and uh, Pregnancy Center helps uh, alleviate some of that. Excellent. Okay. Give some guidance to it. There's counseling available. Um, it helps with accommodations if they need a place to live. Um, and after the birth of their child, they, uh, they give extra counseling and help pay for the costs. Gotcha. And there's also counseling for the fathers as well. It's not just the mothers. Excellent. If you don't need anybody that, that, that's, that's benefited directly from uh, the personally, or just off out on the Brandon's question. Right? Um, yeah? my, my assistant at work, she's actually going there right now. Really? They're helping her. Okay. She, uh -huh. she does the one thing. Oh, okay, super. Oh, yes. I know. Oh, yes. I know lots of women who've been through the program and been thoroughly blessed. The way I met them was uh, they also do a follow up Bible study. For those who've been really hurt by abortion, that you know, the people that go there are not necessarily on their first pregnancy. Some of them have already had an abortion and they're now looking for an alternative because they've got a second unwanted pregnancy. Or they might be suffering from a post-abortion stress. Mm -hmm. And the Bible study That's takes right. them through um, the forgiveness and reconciliation of Jesus Christ. That's the only way you can get healing. Were you guys expecting or anticipating some opposition or some like a uh, hostility maybe? Nah, nah. <laughs> You've been here, you've done this before, it's no big deal, right? Right. Because this isn't a protest or anything, what is it really? Yeah. We're just helping the funds. Excellent, yeah, benefit kind of walk, yeah. right? Gotcha. <laughs> if anything, it would be support for um, pro-life, that's for sure. 
but it's not a protest. It's just supporting women who uh, who need help in a very challenging crisis stage in their life. You say that you went through the training uh, to uh, work at the crisis pregnancy center, and uh, yes. what does that all what all does that involve? Well, it was about eight hours of training, and they took you through uh, interviewing techniques and listening very empathetically mm. and uh, understanding where these women came from and uh, they told us the areas that were extremely sensitive and oh. uh, the, the kind of way that you should approach it you know so that you didn't cause more pain than what they were going through already. You what, know? What, what, what sort of uh, uh, general subjects would they, would they caution you to tread lightly on that? Well, um, particularly on the subject of abortion. If the woman comes in and she's already abortion minded, this woman's uh, already but without crisis, causing yeah. her any more pain to add to her burden. So they gave you techniques of how to talk about the um, awful effects of abortion. <laughs> Oh, great, great. So you know how much farther we have to go? Um, we're at the church now. Oh, we're just almost done. Yeah. It's pulling by pretty quickly, huh? Mm-hmm.